Welcome to a pretty cool lock that I got from Artemis Picks. Um, yeah, and I actually got three of those. Um, the other two I've already taken apart here and there. And we will look at them really close a little bit later. But now let's focus on this instance here. Um, it has a very unusual shape, especially with this piece here that's screwed in the plug that restricts the, the, the rotation and also limits it. So you can only turn the plug uh, counterclockwise to a, a certain angle and not clockwise. Um, yeah, these locks were um, mounted um, at post box um, uh, post boxes and Artemis Picks sent me a picture of the um, former uh, application of these locks and he told me that he got 50 of these. <laughs> so I have now three of this um, and two brands are involved Eagle and Yale but they are very very similar. Um, they came originally with no key but I made one key out of a set I icon key that I have laying around, had laying around, and now it works very, very smoothly. And you can see the amount that it turns only counterclockwise. So, yeah, let's pick it and take it apart, and then we will look at all of the three locks uh, in detail. For tensioning I use a set tension bar that's meant to be used on dimple locks but it fits very nicely here uh, at the end of this keyway. And for picking the pins I use this sparrows hook which is very narrow here and fits nicely um, in, this, uh, in this gap here, hope you can see that, here in this in this gap so I can work on that uh, latch and pick the pins right uh, around the corner here. So let's get started. So of course I need to tension it uh, clockwise and let's see four is binding and five is binding breaking my way to the front no good clicks here. So these are only standard pins, but uh, now there was a click. But I have really trouble with standard pins, and uh, these locks are not bad. I have overset something. Please tension. <laughs> and it opens. It always opens like that, almost always. Um, opens like that. That's really really funny. I'm really lucky that it um, worked so nicely on camera also this time. So yeah, pretty funny luck. So now let's take it apart. Oops. It's a very unusual way to, to take this lock apart by um, taking off the screws <laughs> that were screwed in the plug. Oh, I locked it back up, but I don't care, I have a key. So, here are the screws. Oops, and this is the piece that uh, were screwed in the plug. Now I can use my key to turn it. And now it turns um, all the way around as much as I like, because there is no limitation anymore. So I need a follower. Just grab this one. All right, so all pins are in and working. So as I said, only standard pins. Uh, yeah, maybe let's look at the plug. Uh, yeah, it's an it's an old plug, but still looks very nice. We can see a little bit of wear 
in this direction. I think that's the direct that's direction that's the direction where the plug turns and where the the driver pins uh, scratch um, along the surface. Yeah, nothing here on this side, but <laughs> ah, you can see the wear on the other side. That's that's pretty interesting. So it's an indication for for being a, a very old lock here, Eagle. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's the plug, and I have a um, piece of paper here that I will use as a pinning tray because all my pinning trays are occupied with the other locks. So we have the key pins here. Now let's get out the drivers. And you can see how much um, space... Whoop, oh. Uh, it's still in here. How much space uh, we have until the first driver comes? Well, it's more than in an average lock. Oh, <laughs> these jump out. That's just the spring. So we've got very long key pins and very short drivers. But that's okay. So now let's dump out all, all these springs. So that's the housing and the Bible. Nothing really special here. Well, unless it's a really nicely made a piece of brass. Very solid one piece here. Very nice. So, let's quickly look at the pins, all standard, nothing really special here. I would say they have, um, they've chosen smaller drivers um, if the key pins are longer, so they try to balance the pin stacks which causes um, equal um, yeah, uh, equal force on the, on the springs because the, the length here is uh, the same uh, in total. So that makes the, the lock last longer. Yeah, that's, that's basically everything on this particular instance. So that was the, yeah, was the, was the eagle lock. Yep, and now we look at uh, the three other, uh, the two other locks that I got. I've already taken them apart, and here we've got a Yale, and we can see if we compare it to the uh, to the Eagle that it's actually looking very. It's it's actually the same, the same keyway, the same shape, everything. Uh, looks looks very very much the same. Not as much wear here compared to the first lock here. It's it's very similar. Also the the pins are very very similar. They look like having a bit of uh, tapering on the on the top here. Makes the lock also um, um, makes the lock um, working a little bit smoother um, if there is wear on the um, on the tip of the key pins or on the on the key. So that was the second one. Now let's move on <laughs> to the highlight, so to say. Um, That's another eagle. So I have two eagles and one Yale. And here we we see a lot of uh, rust or a lot of corrosion. And uh, that's the highlight because this is different to the others. I don't know why, why uh, brass actually 
causes this kind of um, uh, corrosion. I would have expected this to be more of a brownish color, but this looks like uh, more like gray. Very, very interesting. So maybe this lock was um, has become wet, I don't know. Um, we can also see this kind of corrosion here in the uh, in the housing. And I can tell you that uh, you feel that when, when you pick the lock, this uh, feels a little bit more, well, uh, <laughs> crunchy inside. Um, but it's not really a difficult pick, but yeah, I think if you encounter such a lock in the wild, you would uh, be a, it would be advisable to spray WD-40 in it uh, to make it run smoother. But um, well, actually, I like it when I have a little bit of um, uh, a little fight with these uh, older locks um, in the actual state um, they come in. Yeah, so that uh, worth that. So <laughs> very cool. Um, family of these uh, of these locks here. So Artemis Picks, uh, thank you very much for uh, sending me these uh, these locks to me. Yeah, very cool. So uh, yeah, and everybody else, uh, thank you very much for watching. Happy picking and bye bye.